Hi, welcome to this demo of the deployment of the Spectrum Protect Plus container backup support into an OpenShift connected environment using the OpenShift web console to do it. So I'll be walking you through the different steps to do this connected environment. And the steps for doing an install into an OpenShift environment with a connected and title registry using the OpenShift console will basically entail a one-time prep of adding the IBM Helm repo to the local repo list. The next steps will add the Helm repo to the local repo list, how to expand the Helm package and proceed with the install, and then from inside of the OpenShift console, how to create the project, which will be named Bass, how to create an image pull secret, how to create a credential secret, and finally, how to do the Helm install. So with that, let's go ahead and get started. To prepare the OpenShift web console to pull container backup support images from the IBM Helm charts repository that's linked to the IBM Entitled Registry, you have to add the IBM Entitled Registry to your Helm repository. The OCP web console install depends on features added in OCP 4.6. That's so that's why we're doing this one time series of steps. And the first thing is you're going to define the location of the IBM Helm charts repository by saving the following text to a YAML file. We're going to call this YAML file Helm 3 repo CR, but you could call it whatever you wanted, entitled registry repo or whatever. And then once you've entered the entities in here, especially the entitled registry URL and save that file, you're going to apply it by issuing cube control apply dash F and then the name of the file. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and in, take advantage of the scripts that were provided in the installation package, but we have to fetch and extract the installation package first. So let's get started. First, you'll need to make a directory called installer-er. Um, you can actually name it whatever you want, but we're calling it installer-er. And then you'll want to do a Helm repo list. We want to go to our entitled registry and add the entitled registry Helm repo to the local repo list. So we will issue the Helm 3 space add space repo space and then the entitled registry and then issue helm space repo space update and this will look at each of the helm repos in our repo list and pull down the index in order to be aware of the latest packages out there that we can do the installs from next issue a helm three space search space repo space spectrum. And this is going to go out and look to see where the spectrum protect plus packages are. In this case, it finds packages in two different locations. This comes back and shows us a chart version and an application version. Helm is triggered off of the chart version. So we're going to be looking at the chart version. Next, we're going to issue Helm fetch and then the name of that package location along with the actual package and then the specific version if there's a version you're looking for. So this brings me back a small file. We're going to unpack the Helm chart and then the images will already be in the repository so we don't have to download them. So we're going to issue this tar-xvf. We'll then change into the install directory where we'll issue a chmod giving executable permissions to the sh files. You will need to edit the bass-options.sh file, which has a lot of the parameters that we use for configuring prerequisites. And you'll need to edit the bass-values.yaml file, which we use for install and updates. And inside of both of these files, we give you hints and tips on commands to run in order to find the values that you need to plug in to the different parameters. So first edit those, and then we can move on to the next step. If you'd like, you can run the bass prerexchecker.sh, and that'll give you assurance that you do have all the prereqs in place prior to us shifting over to the OpenShift console. 
Okay, so so far we've added the package to the Helm repo, we've added the IBM Helm repo to our repo list, we fetched the Helm package, we expanded it to get to the install directory, and then we ran the prereq checker. Now, inside of OpenShift user interface, we're going to create a project, also known as a namespace. We're going to create an image pull secret, a credential secret, and then we're going to do the Helm install. So to start with, let's create a project. So on the left hand side, click on the down arrow next to project and then click create project. The name should be BAS, B-A-A-S. The display name should be BAS, B-A-A-S. Description can be something like IBM container backup support. And then you'll go ahead and click create. Now, if you go to the project view on the left side under developer, you can see the secrets. We need to create an image pull secret. So on the right hand side, click on create and then image pull. Before I fill in this form, I want to give you a heads up that this might be a little confusing because in our case, we're using an artifactory instead of the entitled registry. So when the entitled registry is going to be used, the registry address needs to point to it and the username will be CP for everyone. And the password is the key that you would have obtained based on the information in our documentation. Okay, with that, fill this out using our artifactory instead of a entitled registry. The secret name must be bass-registry-secret. The authentication type is image registry credentials. The registry server address is going to specify the Docker registry where the images are pulled. And the username is going to be the Docker registry username that's associated with that Docker underscore registry underscore username value in your bass.options.sh file. And then password is going to be the entitlement key for the IBM entitled registry. Go ahead and click create. For each PVC that you plan to protect, you need to create the same image pull secret, this bass-registry-secret, in the projects of those PVCs. Okay, next we need to create a credentials secret. From the secrets page for the bass project, click on create, and then click on key value secrets. You can go through and manually enter the credentials. And if you look at the documentation, they tell you what needs to be in each of the positions. Or if you cancel out of here and go back into create and select from YAML, we can use a script that we have prepared. So at this point, you'll want to go back out to the command line. The script to create the YAML secrets depends on the bass-options-sh and the bass-values YAML files being, first of all, updated. So you should have done that in an earlier step, but if not, you need to update those by using the hints and tips that are actually inside of those files to fill out the values that are required. And the install directory, you'll see this bass prereq create bass secret dash yaml. If you go ahead and run that, it will create all of the information for you. And then you can simply copy this output and take it back into your OpenShift console and paste it into this area here and then click create. Okay, so now that we've created all of the secrets, it's time to do the install. So click on add, and we're looking for the Helm chart. Click on that. And now inside of the developers catalog, you can enter in Spectrum so that it finds the entries for Spectrum Protect Plus. When you click on the Spectrum Protect Plus, it gives information including the README. And now you will go ahead and click Install Helm Chart. On the right hand side, you can select the version of Spectrum Protect Plus if there are multiple versions out there that you want to install. And it's normal to see this form view is disabled, so you can just ignore that. Next, you'll want to copy the 
dash values.yaml file and put that into the bottom of this OpenShift user interface. You'll find the file in the install directory, and if you haven't already filled it out, there is guidance in the documentation on how to fill it out. So go ahead and copy that, and then paste it into this form here on the install Helm chart. Go ahead and click on install. Now you'll see the install in progress. Um, you'll see the containers being created. You'll see the image pull. Secret is being given authority to pull images down and create pods and components. You'll see us firing up Zookeeper pods and Kafka will also start. Now once the install is finished, we do have an OpenShift visualization for our service. So you can go in there and you'll see that the dark blue, what is provisioned, versus the light blue components are in the process of being provisioned. Now once the project is completely set up, you can use this view to easily get to logs and other things for these different pods. Okay, now that the installation is complete, you can go out to your Spectrum Protect Plus user interface and start protecting the containers in this environment. So in summary, I've showed you how to install container backup support for Spectrum Protect Plus by using the OpenShift web console. Thank you very much.